Hey BLs, welcome back to the Spine Tips for Game Maker Studios series. Today's tip is a continuation of the previous video in the series and it is for the Spine software, but the main part will be happening in Photoshop Creative Cloud. I will be applying it to Spine version 2.1.27 since I have found this to be the latest version of Spine still working with Game Maker Studio, so what I'm going to show you should also be able to work in newer versions of Spine. In today's tip, I will show you how to reuse a mesh across differently scaled images. The general concept is to not crop away all transparent areas so that images become the same size. I'll show you how to accomplish this in Photoshop while still being able to use asset generation. First, you have to mesh out a rectangle shape big enough to contain all your different images which need to share the mesh, and then turn down the transparency of it as much as possible without becoming fully transparent. An opacity of 20% and a fill of 1% should do it. This would tell Photoshop that the automatically generated images should be of that size, since Photoshop will only crop away fully transparent pixels. This will of course leave the background semi-opaque, but you can remove this last part of opaqueness in Spine by setting this transparency slider in the export settings. Since our background rectangle is almost fully transparent, we only need to cut away the very most transparent values. And now you can make a mesh that fits all and you can apply it to multiple images just as I showed you in the previous video. Hope you found this video valuable, and if so, please show by giving it a thumb up. Until next time, bye.